Hello world changers, it's me, Miss McCarthy, with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we practice a specific question type. Now, these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more practice, I will point you in the direction for tons of video lessons at the end of this episode today. So stick around. The focus for this week is drum roll. Multiple choice. All right, y'all, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. Okay, fifth grade, here's your problem this week. So go ahead, pause the video, try to solve this one on your own, and when you are ready to check your work, press play. Welcome back, fifth grade. So this one says, what is the difference of one third from four, from three fourths? Sorry, I'm having a hard time reading today from three fourths. Be careful with this one because we have that word from when we're taking something from it. We are taking one third from three fourths. That would mean that we are, if this is three fourths, we are taking one third from that. That's how it should look, okay? I know that when we add or subtract, our denoms must match, and I don't see matching denominators here. So what I'm gonna do is find the least common denominator of four and three, my two denominators that I have. How do I do that? Well, I put the multiples of each one of those there. So if I count by fours, that would be four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Let me stop there and see if I get a match. Moving on to the threes would be three, six, nine, 12. I've got a match. The least common denominator, the lowest common denominator that they have in common, the denominator they have in common would be 12. So my next step would be to rewrite these equivalent fractions. So yes, we're changing 3 fourths into a fraction with a denominator of 12, but it's an equivalent fraction. So let's see how we got there. If we multiply four times three, that gives us 12. Same on the bottom, same on the top. Three times three equals what? Nine, so that would be nine twelfths. Then we're going from the denominator of three to the denominator of 12. So three times four equals 12. Same on the bottom, same on the top. One times four is four. That was a long journey, but now we're here. We have matching denominators. All is good. It's nine twelfths minus four twelfths would be five twelfths. Do we have that as an answer choice? We do. We have D. Boom, just like that. Okay, let me leave that right there for you. Pause the video to jot down your notes, and when you're ready to continue, press play. Now, here's a message for the grown ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the links somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, more confident with something, you've got to be intentional about your practice and you've got to throw down your very best effort each and every time. You got to put in the effort, y'all. I believe in you and I will see you next time. World changers. Bye.